Someone was asking me uh, about running Darknet on CPU versus GPU. So here's a video that I'm going to be using for this quick demonstration. This is part of the LEGO dataset that's linked to from the FEQ. I'll include a link below as well. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I've got Darknet compiled right now for, let me see, source CLI Darknet version. So this is running on GPU. Let's change this. So I'm going to compile it for CPU only. That'll be our first test. The video that we're working with is uh, 41 seconds long. And what I'm going to do is source darknet. This is the command that I'm going to run. So we're we're using four threads, four CPU threads to process a video that is 41 seconds in length. You can see it running at the bottom here. We're at 80%, 90%, and there you go, 100%. So it took 18 and a half seconds to process the video, giving us uh, 66 frames per second. Now I'm gonna rebuild this. get rid of this. I'm going to rebuild Darknet to make sure that we're running on GPU and then I'm going to run the same command to process the exact same video file with the same number of threads but detection is going to be happening on the GPU instead of with a CPU and we're going to see how much of a difference that makes. So it's almost done building and it's done. That's it. It processed the whole thing. So on CPU, it took 18 and a half seconds. When I enabled the GPU, it took 1.4 seconds to process that video, uh, giving us a final frames per second of 867 as opposed to on CPU, we were getting 66 frames per second. So that's the difference between Darknet running on CPU and Darknet running on GPU. But note that even on CPU, we're still getting more than the 30 frames per second that most people are playing with. So that's not bad. Uh, if you have any questions, come and see us on the Darknet YOLO Discord. I'll include a link in the video description. Thanks. Bye.